I usually tell people that I go by many names because um, that's the case, but uh, just go with the one my mom gave me is uh, David Gutierrez. I'm from Colombia, a uh, long way away from home, and we arrived in Gisborne with my wife a little bit over two years ago, looking for an opportunity to reconnect with people that um, had values and and vision of the future similar to ours. And one of those people actually was the one to introduce me to Kokirikai, to this space. His name is Ron Tayapa and he's been instrumental in making everything that's around us happen. Kokirikai has been a space for Fana to come and, and learn how to grow their kai. There used to be a house here. They decided to take it out and, and put in a community garden. EIT was involved, there was a lot of aunties and moms and, and, and Fano involved and at some point, for some reason that I'm not fully aware of, um, things kind of grinded to a halt and it was left alone for a couple of years. I got this idea from Ron, hey, why don't you try and, and do something here? Even though this is a, a relatively small space, to do absolutely everything on your own. And that was the first thing that I found out. I thought, well, if I come here every day and, and do some mahi, Fano start, will start coming and we'll get involved and we'll be curious about what's going on. Initially, that was not the case. Some Fano that thought that I, I was coming in to take over this, the space. Thankfully, we were able to work it out and we were able to work together. It's a community garden. The, the hardest job that we have is getting rid of all the veggies that we grow. As you can see, there's just an abundance of everything. The silver beet, it's actually been here since we got here, like we didn't put it in and then all the puha that comes up, all the veggies that we put in this in this soil, they just pump, they just grow. We always encourage anyone that comes along to, to grab as much kai as they can. We're slowly but surely bringing the community into the community garden. I'm doing gardening work um, as well as um, starting my own podcasting um, company to work with community organizations and to work with uh, social enterprise and between all of these things I can only afford to be here once a week whenever the, the weather is good. If I didn't have to worry about money, this is where I'd be. I know that it makes me happy, I just want to share that with people.